Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, our second episode in the series. We are going to continue the journey through this wonderful village. Well, well, been... we thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Slavi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyoto's warriors, and there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Okay, we have leveled up. And we're gonna take a look at the skills we have available. There are stat nodes and there are also different types of skills that you can gain by leveling up. It feels like Path of Exile in a, in a little sense. It might be a pretty good introduction into into that game when I pl first played RPGs this was not the type of skill set that you would have and so Path of Exile's skill sets were very unfamiliar to me and uh, felt very weird one of the reasons why I quit the first time but now I'm a bit more used to getting this kind of free free tree that you can go in which direction you want and we have on this side we are going towards the way of the wolf the thing is you can see that we gain all the stats at first I thought that this is something that we might want either way but it gives a bonus to all raven aligned gear wolf aligned gear and here in the north the, the bear where was it somewhere Oh, it doesn't say yet, but here, Way of the Bear is bonus to all bear line gear. So you have to wear the right gear for this. It seems like the bear is with melee, the raven is with uh, stealth, and with... or it's not with stealth? Well, I thought it would be with stealth more. And we have here stealth with the wolf with ranged attacks, ranged points more than anything else. So, us being the two-headed wolf channel, I'm guessing we're going to be better at critical damage or something. I am not sure how they're spent. I felt like this was more of an archery rain based skill tree, but maybe it's not that fixed. Anyway, for now, let's take two points here I'm not gonna get, take this just yet I'm going to take some melee resistance and that's about it for now because I do want us to be to survive at least before anything else I don't think I want anything else on this side so I'll probably go back here for stealth reckon and then back step 
come home. Well, let's explore the area. See what's what. Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, bro. How do you know? You never went on a raid. Shush. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. Just as an idea, we are going to... This playthrough will be about exploring as much of the game as possible. I'm not sure it's going to... I don't think it's going to be on a 100% completion. But it's not going to be only story. So... Goodman, it appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was little plundered Alvesness. But if I come across any, it will be yours. But that's how most of the campaigns on this channel go. Like, we're trying to do as much as possible, even if it's not an objective, we're trying to expand and explore. Your Ira is growing fast. Fast, but not big. A little rabbit, that one. Small and quick beats big and slow. I'll start taking her on raids soon. Would you please? It would give me a break. Your Ira is growing fast. Fast, but not small. Would you please? Okay, we can summon a mount. Ah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Don't need to follow me, horse. Um. I'm okay. Don't need to follow me, horse. <laughs> uh, let's see. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking game. You're going to start. Oh. Starting to get a bit more difficult. I guess it's a competition, but it seems like she she was still on her first one, so probably it's not just who gets the point left or right, like you have to drink it all. Good at drinking. No, I'm Odin, not. Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Blending. Is there no one who will go around with me? Okay. Oh, there was something by pressing. Like, I don't want to keep the clock on. Is it like this? Uh -huh. So those are some quick actions there. I did remember that one. Let's see what was around here. There was this game. Ah, Orlok. I know this game well. Orlok, a game of skill. Orlok. How about a game? So yeah, let's play it. Let's do this then. All right then. Let us begin. So this game plays a bit like Yahtzee, because I've tried it when I recorded the first episode in the past. 
So we have three rounds, the roll phase, the where we gain different types of tokens that we keep or roll again. We can do it up to three times. The god favor phase where we can use like this border gives us energy and this hand steals energy from the opponent if he has any. And you have different abilities with your gods depending on the amount of energy that does different things. The resolution phase is it's where everything is calculated. This is the health and when this is reduced to zero, well, we lose. Coin flip, let's go with heads. It's tails, so he will start first. So he kept the shield and that yellow border is energy. So we have here the axe deals melee damage, the arrow deals range damage, the helmet blocks melee damage and the shield blocks range damage. This steals one token from the opponent and we gain one token by having this yellow border. Like the, the die is very different so we'll have like this. We could even go with these ones. I gain two energy and maybe steal one. I think I like this turn. So he has a lot of energy, that's why he made this combination heal. from him and he steals from us okay well now we start we we have these I do like those I'm gonna take two of these as well ah uh, not like this interesting so he kept a shield we can add another shield another arrow Probably going to bring the shield up as well. Yeah, he's stealing more energy from us. And now let's speed up the resolution. Um, will we have enough energy? Let's go here and take a look. So he's going to steal two of our energy. Yeah, we won't be able to use this just yet, I believe. But we can try. But no, because he's stealing two energy from us, so... Yeah, so now we're left with only two free tokens, so we can't cast anything. Then... Ex this is the beginning of the game, so I'm guessing that's why he's not using anything there. Or he's gathering all his points for the maximum effect there, like deal 8 damage, stuff like that. Let's see. We're going to take those two, I'm going to put a helmet on, and we're going to roll with the legs. Okay, what else do we have? Another helmet here. We can bring that up, we can bring an arrow, and we'll be rolling one more die. Okay. So it's not the best round, but we'll give it a good go. Remove two helmets from opponents. That's his effect. That is a pretty bad effect there. Now the god effect happens. Select dice to keep okay and I want us I would like to have the energy I will take the two melee damage as well and I'll re-roll the shield Ooh. Interesting. this is the first 
background, more of a tutorial like than anything else. So I think this is the reason why he didn't pick all those melee attacks. Because a higher AI, as far as I'm concerned, would definitely be going for it. Or maybe that's not the perfect tactic, who knows. This is my game, stranger. Just give up. Let's roll as well. I will take one of these, I will take some of these. I want full attack on him. Okay, so he went with a melee and a helmet there. Mm. Let's see, can I go for another god favor? I can, so we'll do that. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to damage him. I won a lot faster last time when I played, but I guess sometimes this is how the game goes. Let's take some bunch of energy. Let's. I don't think he'll be able to stop our god. This will do. Yeah, no, he is. He won't be able to stop us. From doing two more damage to him here and that. Done. Are you even trying? This cannot be. I challenge you to another round. I have had enough of this. Okay. So this is it. We won Vidar's Might. That's some sort of collectible. Or maybe we can exchange. We can change. Which one do we want to use? Uh, we haven't done a quest here, so there's no point in talking to her anymore. Uh, hmm. This guy. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure the next challenger I'll slay. No, that does. You're a very fine teacher, I'm sure I'll excel. No, I'll recall what you taught here. I enter the fray. Okay. So. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've got nothing inside of your skull. Then I'll, spli <laughs> then I'll spit in your face and I'll bash in your skull. And I'll make a fine goblet from out of your skull. <laughs> and they all say, then I'll tell fun. you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Lighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to be giving far more than you can bear. I will fleet you with flourish and best you with flair. I will make you regret what you've taught me today, okay? I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're Aren't worthy we... of praise. 
You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Aren't we Thank a wonderful you, Viking? I'll take the lesson to heart. Okay. So by doing this we gain charisma, which unlocks special dialogues in certain situations. So that is really nice. It's really cool when mini games like this don't just You know, ju you just complete them if you want and nothing happens. It's cool when they also provide you with benefits. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Hmm. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Tattoos and Barber. Customize Eivor's look at Sven and Tove's tattoo shop. Bring them cosmetic schemes to access a wider variety of styles. Well, let's go with hair first. I want to go with a darker brown. I think for the moment we'll just stay with with shaved instead of the classic. And then we look at beards. We definitely need a good beard on us. Yeah, clean shaved. Not really. Let's take a look. Ooh, Jormungand and hell sign mm, let's see we have left arm right arm i do like your mungan like this on this arm maybe even the chest like that and on the head no i i want to take off the raven i think i'll stay like this so yeah, that's about Good. it. Need anything else? Nope. See you later, Swain. Sure. There's another quest here. I guess this is the blacksmith. Eivor, wolf kids. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Okay. So bringing ingots to the Selman's forge will allow Gunnar to enhance armor and weapons. So that's what we found in those wealth caches. Doing so will improve unlock rune slots, increase the pieces upgrade limit and may improve its appearance. Okay. So we're getting a new look to our axe. That's really nice. A higher level of upgrade and a few other things. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong. But my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five <laughs> weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Okay, well, let's take a quick look at the blacksmith as well. We have a few more ingots and we can upgrade this Raven Clan armor. But I don't want to do that just now. I I'm really trying to... Else? 
since it does change the appearance and everything else, I would like to go with the with the wool farmer if we can ever find one. But we have resources to upgrade, and I think I will go with a new level, a new level for our river. Yeah, definitely. This is something that we will keep long term more than any of these so we'll stay at that um let's see how do you do this middle click for runes now we can add a minor rune of rage yeah looks pretty good and it seems like there's something else here let's go talk to her now They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Okay. Bonus content unlocked. Okay. Um. Oh, we gained some of that. Now we've unlocked the content for pre-ordering and something that I've unlocked in the Ubisoft rewards. Let's check out the map. Somewhere in here, yeah, that error is from those pictures, like you take screenshots and if you fail because it didn't connect properly with the server, now I'm seeing the picture every time and getting the error. Anyway. Let's go towards this, like our quest is here. I wanna go here just to check the area, synchronize the area. Mm, I think we can call the horse. Yeah! I don't think there was anything less left in the Town, but if there will be then we are coming back to it later on um, or was it let's see uh, I feel like I've missed something that I did last time let me take a quick look around like look how beautiful this game is That's a blacksmith, she's the one we trade. Ah, a trader. Let's go to the trader. Sea shop. Yeah, merchants can be found in any large village. Yeah, we will sell all trinkets. These are just used for gold, or for silver in this case. I must be on my. And I feel like I, I spoken to a hunter last time. Hello, Eivor. They have a Thank Let's go through here, see if we can see anybody who is a hunter. Because I remember picking up a quest or something from her. <laughs> But it doesn't look like she... I, I mean, I, I don't remember. It's not that she isn't here. It's that I don't remember exactly where she was. Yeah. Well, I'll just go through here, see if there's anybody to talk to. And if not, then... Selavi will be back to to collecting it later on. Is it her? Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. 
but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. There we have it. We gain a mild hunt, which is a quest. I knew I remembered something like that. <laughs> this snow, like this cold, it reminds me of when I was in high school. Like I, my high school was a few kilometers away. I could have taken the bus, but I had a friend who lived somewhere in middle way from my house to the school. And he, we, we met up. I would get to, to his place, he would come out and we would walk all the way to school every way, every day. And when the, yeah. there was snowy like this, during that time we also started playing World of Warcraft. I haven't played it for long. I wasn't a master at the game or anything like that, so I never participated on big things like raids or stuff like that. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. But we played the different types of uh, characters and everything else. And we really loved the experience. Like, I, I loved playing as a dwarf, and you would start in those snowy mountains. And whenever uh, you were alone, playing alone, like doing quests and things like that, it was always this kind of, I don't know, slightly lonely feeling about it, but somehow also very cozy. Like, you would walk on the map for a few hours probably just in the snow and then you would come back to your city where it was warm and warm colors and everything else that was really really amazing it it, it feels feels good like those feelings um, whenever i remember them it's just I, I don't know how to explain it but, be this. but yeah maybe it's nostalgia maybe it's just that a maiden's missive Hail brave champions, come find my comb, it is lost and lying low. Where only the courageous go, be your bold of breath and blood, do not wallow in the mud. Find me, me by the rushing waters and be my fish in shining armor. So, it's in the water, let's see. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My comb. Whoever I'll finds it find wins an evening of my company. See. Care to join them? It must be around here somewhere. Okay. Well, it's definitely in the water. Deadly goat. Yep, there it is. Okay. And there's a waterfall here. And if there's anything that games taught me is always look behind the waterfall. If there's nothing, I'll be surprised. <laughs> hey, I see what it means to have gaming knowledge. Iron ore and leather, not a whole lot. But hey, everything helps in the end. We we'll probably need a, a bunch of these resources. As you can see, we're starting to take damage because we are swimming in this cold water. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. Ooh. I see. Lead on. You're different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and... delicate. Delicate. The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? 
I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... Is that a pun? I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them, if you'd like. Um, sure, not sure I can show this on YouTube, but I... My shoulders are tense. Turned nudity off, so at least... I could use a soft this, this game has these turning nudity pinks. off. Then let me... And I saw it from the beginning, and if my experience with Crusader Kings taught me anything... It's always mm, supply <laughs> that filter. In delicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the coal as a keepsake. Thank you, Bill. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Okay, well, actually this is better for 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 the video as far as I'm concerned. Let's Take this journey onwards. Uh, there is a wealth point here. It seems like so. And there's something else here. Mm, I'm not sure which way to take, but maybe we'll go over here. First. No! Can I climb to it, I wonder? I think it's faster with the horse. Let's take a quick trip. Our little raven there. Oh. Uh, it shows us some sort of a battle, but at the same time, it shows us that it's underneath. So let's try to explore. Actually, I think the raven can help us. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Okay, we have some iron. Was that the eagle peak that I was looking for? Oh, by the way, uh, while they talk, while people talk, I generally, generally just keep my mouth shut. Uh, just so you guys can hear what they say. Maybe you are interested in that. In a sense, I am interested, but not in all conversations. So, let me know if... If that is something that you're okay with, or if you'd like to for us to speak more during these times. I don't see where the enemy might... The enemy, the, the battle might be. Maybe it's not through here. Or maybe there's somewhere to reach underneath. Because at the moment I can only see myself moving further and further away from it. So if that is the case then we won't be worrying about it anymore. at the 
Aurora Borealis. ¡No! Um, okay, what is that? That this looks like resources. Obsidian, destroy and loot outcroppings of obsidian to gather resources. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of it here. So I'm just gonna do just going to collect some resources here. Then we're going for that wealth point. And then we're moving on to that. Ah! Scouting point up at the top of the mountain. Okay, we have some resources there as well, but I'm not gonna walk all the way on the other side. Let's go for that wealth point. All this riding around reminds me of the game Dragon Age. Now I I don't know if you know Dragon Age, but the first game was really cool, really cool for the time, but it's a bit of an RPG in a set in a different world with different lore and uh, it's something that you it's slightly uncommon. Meaning that it doesn't look like any other uh, title that you might have played. Okay, so we're climbing from here on out. But the first game was really appreciated. The second game, people didn't really care for it. I personally liked. It brought a bit more action, like you had to press keys to, to attack and things like that. I personally did enjoy it, yeah, even the storyline and everything else, it wasn't maybe as deep as in the first one, but I still loved it. Uh, is there anything here? Yeah, there seems to be some sort of a cave system there. Can I get to it? Can I get to it by jumping here? Yes. Nice. Opal. We gain some opal. I wonder if that is for selling or it does something. More silver. More iron ore. Enhanced gear pieces. Uh, enhanced gear pieces allow you to slot runes. Rune can be found in chests throughout the world. Okay. Minor rune of rain, armor rune. Okay. We can probably have runes in our armor as well, I'm guessing. Let's see. There's another wealth point there, we're going to go with that, that. See what this mystery is here, and then the seer solace. And the, sec and the third game in the Dragon Age world was a, was still like this, it was a bit open world. We've got wolves on our tail and I'm really hoping to take these deer out, but I guess we're not that great. <laughs> we got stuck between a deer. We got stuck between a deer and a wolf. Man, this has to be the biggest fail in the world.
<laughs> we're getting there. We're getting better. And the nice thing is that we can get back our arrows. But I would really like some of those horns. Like right there. Though males do seem to be aggressive. I'm not sure about the doe. I know I keep getting interrupted, but... Uh, yeah, on Dragon Age 3, you would go... Uh, is this the point that I was going for? No, it's one here. And you would have an open world, and it's quite cool. I do like games that also connect like they connected the first story to like you could import your saves into the second story and you can in no sense import your choices in the third story and i like how that changes the whole thing or many of the different parts of the game even if it's not in a major way even a bit of a mention of what happened is, is a really cool thing that can connect even the oldest of games together. And we had the same thing going for Mass Effect 3, right? With the infamous ending. I'm really hoping that one day maybe ah. they'll put some work into that ending because it's, it's a great game, it's a great series. It just no. had that moment of weakness if you if you can call it that okay apparently our horse is tired from mountain climbing let's climb it ourselves then this is a game where we can spend probably hours upon hours a dozen hours just exploring and I guess this is the big charm of it right it always has been an Assassin's Creed going up different buildings climbing them taking a wonderful view of the area and then there was there were the missions Let's see okay we managed to climb it bunch more resources there that's nice that's really really nice mm, can I jump anywhere from here it doesn't really look like it at this point we're not really an assassin either so Like these resources. Since we're in the area. And there was one more here, right? Yep. Okay, what's the next? It's right here. We've explored a few more places. Valka's hut. Sialeng's lookout. I hear some animals. Uh, just wolves. We need deer. Look at that. It is a bit of a gold so too. So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. It is a goal of mine to go and see the Aurora Borealis sometime in this life. 
Ivan, wake up, or you will be cast into the wild. I was hoping to go to Finland this uh, this year. Stay awake. They could be anywhere. To to see a winter festival. Is he walking in his sleep? So let me guess. He is just gonna They're walk that way. Everywhere. Can we if stop we him? Die, everyone dies. Nope. I guess I'll just collect some resources in the meantime. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Take a ride to the other side. Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No, I was flying through the air. In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when you are in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. Cool. We've done another quest here. Can I jump the rope there? I don't think we can. <laughs> Climb it, we can just go down. Uh, what's our next point? Our next point will be Valka's hut here. So let's do that quest and call it an episode there. I'm gonna hurry up. I really want to continue playing this. I'll probably work on recording another episode, a half hour episode next and then I I want to go back to the other games as well with the Total War I need to do at least one more before I start work as far as my schedule goes let's see is this the building we saw from the water? like I thought this would be Odin's Hall or something yeah. Look at that one. Nice. Okay, that's friendly. Can we collect stuff? Ooh, we can collect from the back of the horse. That is, that is an impressive feature. <laughs> that is missing from many games. Offerings to Valka, two chickens from Snefri to anoint her crops, one sheep from Torat for her children's blood blessing, one go from Dag for more skin salve. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Hush, I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Amuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? 
Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Mm. Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my Seder that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Always a good sign. Huh? I saw nothing, Balka. Felt nothing. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? Sigurd and the wolf. What is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, are these like the... What were they called? Man, their name doesn't come in my mind. Like the ladies of faith. In Norse mythology. I feel there's always some sort of secrets hidden somewhere in these like that you can just miss by going straight forward Fenrir? Ah. Ah. 
steady Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin. Nornir. And the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path. What lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. Oh. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Though she's a bit too sure on <laughs> her, I have to say. Well, this is it for this episode. I'm gonna put a cut in here and we'll be coming back tomorrow with another one so we can enjoy. As for the moment, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.